Alright, in this video we're going to go over how to sum all the even numbers from 500 to 1000. And we're going to use a while loop to do that. You could also use a for loop, a do while loop, which we'll actually learn fairly soon. Uh, you could actually also use... There is a way to use an if statement for it, but we probably won't go over that anytime soon. If at all, it's really not very useful. So, let's see here. First, we need two different numbers. We'll say int n and int x equals 0. Actually, we'll say int n equals 500. So, we'll start that out there. So, x will be sum, and we'll call n the tracking number. So we said we're going to use a while loop, so we need some kind of Boolean expression. n is our tracking number, so while it's less than 1001, we are going to do some stuff. And what we need to do is add up the values we need to add up 500. 501 is not an uh, even number, so we need to add up 502, then 504, plus 506, plus 508, and you get the picture all the way up to 1000. So instead of, actually, we could do an if statement and check if each number was a even or odd number, but a quick way to do that is just n plus equal 2. So we'll increment n by 2 each time until it gets all the way to 1,000. Then we need to do a little bit of math here. So x plus equal n. So x will start at 0, then we'll go into this while loop, n is less than uh, 1001, so x will then jump straight to 500, it'll be 500 plus 502, plus 504, and so on, and then at the very end here we want to print x. So I'll hit shift F6 and run this loop. Alright, so we now know that the sum of all the even numbers from 500 to 1000 is 188,250. <clears throat> and uh, I really don't know anything that you could use that knowledge for, but if you really, if you need to calculate something really quick and uh, it's a whole lot of numbers to do it, Java is actually a good option because that really added up a whole lot of numbers very quickly. Uh, total time zero seconds, so less than half a second. And my computer really isn't that great, it's just normal computer, so that kind of shows you some of the power that Java has. Anyways, I hope this video tutorial helped you uh, understand why loops a little bit better. If it did, there's a like button down below. Uh, if you wouldn't mind hitting that for me, I would appreciate it. There's also a sub I don't know, I can't speak right now. There's also a subscribe button if you really like a lot of my tutorials in the... If you want to be updated on the channel, go ahead and hit that. Thanks for watching.